morning, welcome to the vlog. It is, I don't know what day it is. What day is it? Sunday? Sunday. It is Sunday. So, calendar days are playing right now. Today we're going to venture out for the first time in almost two weeks. I've been literally inside. I haven't stepped foot outside this house other than in the backyard in two weeks, you guys. In almost two weeks, you guys. Today we do have to go to the grocery store though because we really, really, really need some new stuff. And then also I need to go to the store and get some eczema cream because my eczema has been flaring up like crazy. So I need to go get some eczema relief cream really badly. That is a necessity today and it's been causing me a lot of pain. But other than that, we are chilling. We are watching Netflix. I'm gonna edit a vlog. I'm gonna make some breakfast. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm making myself some brunch. Cal's watching a TV show so I'm whispering. We've got eggs. No, 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 it's okay. I am obsessed with this pancake mix. I had some yesterday. I dreamt about them. I'm doing pancakes, just a couple of these. I definitely flipped it a little too early too. Gotta cook the other side. There we go. They're so good. Eggs and then a little avocado on the side. This is like my favorite breakfast ever right now. Brunch rather, because it's kind of late. I don't know what happened, but I butchered these pancakes, but I'm still gonna eat them. I eat my pancakes pretty much plain, no maple syrup or anything. And then I have my eggs, everything but the bagel seasoning, of course, the avocado and sriracha. And I did separate plates so they wouldn't mix. Hello all. It is a little bit later. I made a few TikToks. Cal would not participate in anything with me. <laughs> but now we are going to make some cheese and crackers. It's snack time. I'm hungry. We have some crackers from Trader Joe's. These are the little assortment variety. Then we have some brie cheese. I have clean hands and some salami also from Trader mm. Joe's. Yeah, I don't know what's gone into me recently. All I can do is think about brie cheese. I constantly want to eat it. I have to limit my intake. I've taken a few days off and now I'm going to allow myself to have a little bit. All right, cheese. Oh, look at the, the length of these salamis are perfect to lay across your cracker with cheese. Here we go. Mukbang. Mmm. This <laughs> is really good. Just a 1.30 p.m. cheese cracker. This is good. This is really good. <laughs> this is what my quarantine content has come to. Just us eating crackers. You guys, my favorite <laughs> hair wig company called Insert Name Here. They sent me a ponytail for me and a wig for Daisy. And it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but everyone has been making banana bread in quarantine, like every single person. And now I can't stop thinking about banana bread. So today when we're at the store picking up all of the essentials, I also would love to pick up some bananas to hopefully make a banana bread with in maybe like a week or so once they're overly ripe. Oh, girl. All right, well, we're gonna go to the grocery store. I'll see you eventually. You guys, since moving, I have discovered Chip and Joanna Gaines. I always knew about them. I knew about Magnolia, that line at Target. But oh my God, I haven't missed a video. I've like binged every single one. I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute and I love them. So you should check them out. Magnolia, Chip and Joanna Gaines. She makes a lot of food and she made banana bread too. That's why I thought about it. We are about to head out the door. We're gonna go run to the store very quickly, grab whatever we need and then come back. If anybody has any sort of eczema sort of recommendations, please let me know. It's actually not flaring up right now. It usually flares up towards the nighttime. It gets like red. It's, it's especially here in this patch, like about half of the top of my hand and then about a third of this area right here. Oh, you can see kind of like the scarring. It gets scabby and bleeds and it's so excruciating excruciatingly painful sometimes. Luckily it's been going down, but I've used the Aveeno eczema relief one before and that has been okay. Daisy wants to go outside. You wanna go outside? I think you're just playing us now. All right, we're back. The dog went outside, went potty. That was great. So yes, if you have any recommendations, please let me know and we're gonna go make this quick. Let's go. Okay, bye. All right guys, I got this flare control cream from Exiderm. I actually realized why my hands have been flaring up lately. It's been A, stress, and then B, because we've been washing our hands so often and trying to be as safe as we can, that's why my hands have been extra dry. So this makes sense now, but I got this one and apparently it's really good. I did some research. So we'll keep you updated if anybody else has eczema. Hey, eczema? You got eczema? Eczema. Eczema. I'll let you know what I think. Hi guys. Okay, I am home. That eczema cream has been amazing. It's still a little dry, but the pain has completely subsided. Yes, I am back. We went and got all of the essential stuff. Got lots of like cleaning supplies. We were out of hand soap, so luckily we were able to find that. Got some groceries and things. Now I'm back. As soon as we got back, we took all of our clothes off and changed into clean clothes to make sure we were good. <laughs> this dog is so cute. But yes, now I will not be leaving for another few weeks. So now I am just sitting here watching TikToks. I'm gonna watch them probably for like an hour or so. It's my favorite way to pass time. And I'll catch up with you guys later, but... TikTok time. I just watched a TikTok of this couple doing their gender reveal off the balcony of their apartment and I started crying and I cried my lash off. Now I'm trying to figure out if I go glue this one back again or if I just take my makeup off. For now, I'm just gonna sit here with one lash on and keep watching them. 
I finally decided to get up and actually do something productive. So let's do this together. But first we must start, hi queen. We must start by gluing the lash back on. So let's go do that. I've been currently doing, I don't have a chair for this vanity. So I've just been sitting on the floor doing my makeup facing the other way. Oh, I like this setup actually. And the fact that you're on a suitcase makes you wheel around. Wow. Wow. My hair looks crazy after laying down for a while. Daisy. I'm a southern belle, crazier than hell. <laughs> Get up. Guys, I took one day off of <laughs> uploading. I didn't upload today because I didn't do anything vlog worthy yesterday or like a whole vlog's worth. I did vlog yesterday, but I put it in the one before this and I just conjoined two days together. But first of all, this is the first day. Waking up this morning was the first time in two weeks, I think, that I hadn't uploaded a vlog. So I woke up like expecting to like go read comments and everything like that. And then I realized there was nothing new to read. And then I checked Twitter and TikTok and everybody was commenting and tweeting me saying like, Remy, where's the vlogs? We don't know what to do with ourselves anymore. <laughs> Which I thought was really cute and funny. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna re-glue both because this one's coming up. We'll do a little makeup touch up right now, shall we? I wanna show you guys some of the products that I've been really, really liking. Granted, I have not been wearing a ton of makeup lately, but I do have some stuff that I have been liking for sure. I gotta stop crying my lashes off. I've been doing it so often. Okay, cool. Let that dry. Now to touch up. So this product that I'm holding right now, I have been obsessed with. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in the shade Breezy. It's a cream product, obviously. First of all, love the packaging. I don't know if this is like a repackaged product they already had or if it's brand new. Either way, it is so good. I think this is the perfect summertime product if you want to wear it alone or if you wanna layer it. I am an oily bitch, so I layer any cream products. But what I've been doing lately is I take the Brush that it came with, which is this little like kabuki kind of guy. This is so good. Wait, actually, first let me powder my face up. I use this three dollar elf brush that broke from like high school, and I love this brush so much. <laughs> let me set to the face very quickly before we put that on. Where's my powder? I just have been using this travel size Laura Mercier powder. <laughs> I am being so clumsy. I need to calm down. Okay, powder all around. He's, he's getting into trouble downstairs. I can hear it. My lashes are tacky now, so I'm going to put them back on very quickly. All right. Lash one, lash two. I think I've talked to you guys about these lashes before, but I am so obsessed with this brand or not this brand, this style and this brand. I found out about these from TikTok. Sorry, I talk about TikTok so much, but I really am so obsessed with it. If you are like me and you like the look of lash extensions, like a nice full set of lash extensions, but you don't have the patience to sit there and get them done. I also love like rubbing my eyes at night when I'm washing my face so I can't do lash extensions very well. I am obsessed with these. They're the Ardell 251s. They are so good and nice and full. All right, back to our bronzer. This is again the cream bronzer. I take this along with this little kabuki brush and I just dab it in and then I just put it where I'm going to put my contour. So I just kind of like blend it in. It's a cream product so it blends very easily. You really can't mess it up. Also this brush is like so soft and big and I love it. So I just go like that, kind of blend it in on the cheeks. Looks good, probably, hopefully. Then I take my little Morphe M459. It's like a little flat brush like this and I use this to contour my nose. I use the same product and I just lay it down first. I like this cream cream product because it's really nice and subtle. So again, if you just want to wear this alone, you can. Or if you're like me, you can layer it under your powder products and it'll make it stay longer. It makes it look a little bit more defined, I guess you could say. I just really like it. So I go like this. And again, you don't have to be like too precise with it because you really can't mess it up. It's just a cream. Okay. Then from there, I take my Benefit Cheek Leaders palette. I'm using the Hoola and I'm going to go in and just set that cream product. So just a little contour. You guys, I have not been eating right lately. This quarantine has me eating junk food all the time. So we gotta fake it till we make it until we get back to the gym. A little bit of contour there. And then with the same brush, I just pick it up and do my little nose contour as well. I actually think it looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. I'm gonna use this one, the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. It's so pretty. I use this pretty much like every day. So I put these same products on whether I'm touching up like right now or if I'm just doing my makeup in the morning. But I think it looks really, really good. I love that I'm touching up my makeup to just stay home but whatever. Okay, and then last little bit. You ready, you ready? Little highlighter, inner corner, game changer, and then mascara. This is Benefit Roller Lash on the bottom lashes. Makes your eyes pop. I'm gonna put any makeup on, just stay at home. Might as well go all out, you know? All right, looks good. Then for 
lips last little product I'm going to put on this one right here this is the Tarte Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask in Toasted Coconut it's this cute yellow pastel packaging and then it's just like a nude kind of like a lip balm my lips have been kind of chapped so there we go all right little quick face lift if you will yeah i recommend that cream bronzer a lot i think it's really really good it comes in other shades too i have this one here which is called sunset beach oh wait i just realized the product itself is called the breezy cream bronzer this one that i just put on is in the shade seychelles seychelles seashells i don't know and then this one is in sunset beach so this is a nice dark contour so to any ladies out there who have a nice dark complexion this is perfect for you there's also a lighter one the one that i've been using is in the middle but i packed it in some box and i can't find it so right now i just have these the packaging is so so pretty so yes okay i've been blabbering on enough why did we come up here oh we were gonna be productive that's right okay right now we can do a little unboxing i bought this little product here a long time ago way before i moved because i saw alicia's video and i wanted to try it out. I actually went over to her house and I saw it on her desk and I was like, what is this? And she was like, get it right now. It's so good. So it's this thing called a ring fill light. It's like, it's just a normal ring light, but it's small. So it's perfect for vlogging or perfect for TikToks or whatever it is, any sort of content you're trying to make. And I thought we could build this together. Here we go. Here's what it comes with. We've got the little ring part. I feel like this can't be too hard, right? This is the base, I presume. I think it comes with a phone stand too. Oh, I'm going to be TikTok in my life away now. I really should read the instructions, but I am just going to figure this out on my own. This, I'm guessing, goes in here. Who needs instructions? I say as I probably break this thing. There we go. That looks good. Oh, it's a USB. Oh, wait, this is so cool. Okay, stand light. Then we have this little doohickey right here, which I, oh, wait. You tighten the little socket. Then this goes in here here oh wait this is actually really freaking cool we did it we did it now let me plug it in wait this is so fun there's like a little remote clicker here at the bottom i will link it down below if i forget please just let me know and i will link it i promise <laughs> or go watch alicia's amazon favorites video because i seriously bought like five things from there it's so good maybe i should do an amazon favorites video i should do that okay because i love amazon as we all know here we go little light switch on Ooh, she is lit. Look how, wow. Look at the potential here. Oh, wow, wow. Kind of so much better than the lighting I had. Imagine if I just looked like that when I vlogged all the time. Wow. This reminds me of like Carly Bible when she has like the beautiful lights and she looks like an angel. Gorgeous. Even lighting we love. Ooh, okay. Well, that was fun. What other options are there? What is this? Oh my God, there's colors? Shut up. Wait, this is really cool. Oh, there's temperatures. We can make it dimmer. We can make it brighter. Oh, we can be bright. I'm obsessed with this. This is amazing. Just wanted to share that with you guys. It's been sitting there for a while, so I will be TikToking with this for sure. All right, so moving on, things we need to get done. Cal and I have been very good about cardboard boxes. In case you guys didn't know, the coronavirus can live on cardboard for up to three days. So when we get boxes, we've been letting them sit for at least three days before touching them and opening them up. But I have a ton of boxes that have been ready for me to open. So I figured we could do a little haul together. Also, I really want to put these up, but I need to de-dust them because they are really gross and dirty. These are acrylic nail holders. You know, if you want your nails done at the salon, then they have like these racks up with like all the nail polishes there. I should not have the dust that close to my face. I am very allergic. So I bought these years ago off of Amazon and I use them as sunglasses holders. And you're actually currently resting on a suitcase, which is holding all of my sunglasses. So I figured we could do this, unbox them, and then put them all up for display together. Okay, you guys know I love all my sunnies. I just packed them in between all my scarves and beanies and things. Super cute. There's definitely quite a few that I want to get rid of and probably sell on Poshmark and or donate. So I want to go through all of these. These are so fun. Perfect for the summertime if I'm able to go outside. Look at these cute little benefit ones. So cute. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's start with the haul and then we'll come do this after. Okay, guys, I have all of the packages here just to be extra safe. I did leave them out for three days, but just to be extra safe, I wanted to wear a pair of gloves gloves to do this. I had an extra pair of dish gloves, so I'm going to use these for this. All right, we have a lot of random packages, so let's get to it. From Amazon, I just got some white electrical tape, as well as some double-sided indoor tape, and then also some little zip ties. These are all just to cover up a bunch of cords that have been exposed, whether it's like behind the TV or in the vanity room. These are the go-tos to disguise everything, so had to get those. I got a new board 
game. I got code names. This is the code names duet version. I played code names when I went over to Lauren and Jeremy's house with Cal for like a double date night thing. It was so much fun, but normally you need more than two people, but obviously it's just Cal and I. So I found this version that's made just for two people to play two or more. So now the both of us can play and I am very excited to try that version. It's really, really fun. If you like games that are like a little bit harder, it makes you really think. I like it a lot. I have no idea what this one is. Wait, this is so cute. Oh my God, I think this is from Kaylee. Kaylee texted me and asked if I received a package of hers yet. And I was like, I don't know. There's a bunch just sitting in the garage right now. I can't open them yet. But she told me she sent me a gift and I think this might be it. Wait, this is so cute. Oh my God, okay. I have to text her to verify. Otherwise, if it's not from her, I don't know who it could be from. This is a little like a cutting board or a cheese board, I think. And it's engraved with Miss Remy Ashton at the bottom. That is so so nice. Kay, if this is you, thank you so much. If it's not Kay, I'm a little scared that I have a stalker on my hands. Oh my God, that's so sweet. In case anyone is wondering, it's from this brand called WGBgifts.com, Wedding Gift Boutique. That is so cute. Thank you so much to hopefully Kay. <laughs> I also got some black velvet ribbon for a little DIY project. I've been DIYing up a storm, and by DIYing, I mean just painting things that I already own, but I've been having so much fun with it. Next up, we have another part of my DIY. Okay, so this is a little little cloche, if I am correct. Oh, very cute. I saw a bunch of these online and they were so, so expensive. So I decided to DIY it myself for way cheaper. I have so many fancy nice candles. I wanted to put this over the nice candles and then take the black ribbon and tie like a really pretty velvet black bow around it. They have them in all of the fancy candle stores, but again, it was like 80 bucks for like a cloche thing. And I didn't need that. This was like $8 and the ribbon was like $4. So we are DIYing up a storm in here. Okay. Hey, what is this? So I found out about this from Morgan Yates and Shelby Church. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is a ventless tabletop portable ethanol fireplace. I saw they were roasting s'mores on theirs. They put it literally on their countertop or like on their island coffee table thing. I'm planning on using this actually outside like on my patio area, but it is seriously so cool. I will be roasting marshmallows with this. Check this out. They had a bunch of different colors, but I got the white one. Okay, so it looks like this and a literal fire color comes out of the center. So you can use it for decor, or again, I guess if you wanna roast marshmallows. I don't know if that is fully safe, to be honest. I'll have to look into it. I imagine it's like a Korean barbecue kind of deal. I just don't know if it's fully safe. So I'm gonna research before I do it, but I just thought it was really pretty. And either way, I will be using it for decor. So I got that. Cal also just vacuumed in here, and now I am making a mess. <laughs> I also just got some more plastic bins to organize things. These are gonna go up in my little cabinet area over there. These are just pantry bins. They're great to organize organize even like makeup products or food things if you want to put them in the fridge. Just got a few of this size. They were all on sale. I got those from the container store and then also from the container store I got these things right here which I already own these and I love them so much that I wanted to get them for all the other bathrooms. It's kind of like a shower caddy kind of thing. They just look like this. They're just little shower caddies. You can put all of your shampoo and conditioner and necessities in these. They come in black and in silver and I love them because they hold really, really, really big bottles of shampoo. Ooh, okay. Here we have a grill set because there is a barbecue outside and we need to be able to like brush it down and there's a bunch of other accessories in here like specifically for grilling like spatula, tongs, basting brush, corn holders, cleaning brush, brush head, etc. all in this nice little case here. I got a couple more boxes of these drawer organizers. I heard about these from Alicia and they are seriously the best. My mom even texted me and was like, Ram, where can I get them? They're the bamboo drawer dividers from Amazon on. They are so amazing. They ran out of the white ones, like they don't sell them anymore. So I got a couple of grays, but these are fantastic for organizing any drawers in your life, whether it's in your kitchen or your bathroom, it just makes a really nice divide so you can organize things really easily. Oh my gosh, this next step wasn't supposed to be here for like a month or so, but it came early. I'm sure a lot of you guys watched Emma Chamberlain make nut milk at home. That is something I've been wanting to do for like a year of my life, probably more to be honest. But finally, after watching her video, it ignited something in me and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make nut milk. So I bought cheese cloths, which are good to have on hand if you cook at all. Honestly, if you make sauces or you cook with veggies, cheese cloths are amazing. I'm guessing if you make cheese too. And then I got myself this little glass pitcher here. I actually wanted to make tea today.
today and I realized I didn't have a glass pitcher, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna use this to make my nut milks. I'll put my teas in here. I'll put juices and things. Oh my God, these both came in. I didn't think they were coming for a long time. I am so excited. As we all know, I've been playing Animal Crossing like it's nobody's business. So I bought a case because I keep dropping it. And then also I found these through Heart. They're little thumb grips so you can kind of get a better grip at it. I am excited about those. I also picked up some Philips Hue Light. I ordered these forever ago, wow. Philips Hue Light Extenders. Basically these are just you add on to the strips you already have. I already have a few of them and I love them so much, but they're not long enough for some things. So these will just extend. Okay, I know this is crazy, but I have a couple more boxes and then I promise I'm done. In a Target box here, I just have a bunch of black sheet towels. I haven't gotten new towels in years and all my old ones are kind of like ratty and gross now and like stained and yucky. So I bought a bunch of brand new ones when Target was having a sale. These towels were like $8 each and they're so soft. They're from the Nate Berkus line. I just got all black towels this time for my bathroom. Obviously with like self tanner and makeup, they get stained really easily. So the black is great for that. Also it already matches the theme and everything. So I lucked out. I'm very excited about having very nice, very inexpensive black towels. Okay, last but not least, I got a pillow for my bed. I know this is so unlike me, but I am making my bedroom pretty minimalistic. I know, I don't know what's gotten into me. And I'm only doing one throw pillow on there, which is again, not like me as we all know. But of course, in normal Remy fashion, I had to get my go-to just black furry pillow like this. I love these pillows so much. I have them in the teal color. I have them in the grays and the whites. I've been using them in my apartments for years now. And I'm just gonna put one single black pillow on my bed and I think it's going to look very nice and clean. And I didn't own one in black already, so I got one of these. All right guys, that was my home decor haul. I need to break down all these boxes now and get them in the recycling bins. I do hope you guys enjoyed the haul though. Please also know I do not get this many packages every single day. This has been loading up for a while and obviously it's just like a lot of home stuff. So yes, I'm gonna clean up and I'll see you soon. Hi guys, okay, it's the next day. I'm coming on to end the vlog. Last night after I last talked to you, what was I doing? I was doing something. Hold on, there's construction outside. Oh, I just remembered. Last night after the unboxing haul, I ended up cleaning like little bits here and there and then I just laid on the couch and watched TikTok to be fully honest. I did not get to the sunglasses, but I'm gonna try and get to that today. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.